If there is one beautiful voice I admire so much and I can't stop listening to in this world of music, bro, it is none other but the beautiful vocals of Jelly Roll, bro. If there is one conscious rapper out there that I find it difficult comparing to any of those rappers out there, bro, it is none other but Lucas Joyner, bro. So when Lucas Joyner come together with Jelly Roll, it's all about something pleasing to the human hearing and something to get you thinking, bro. Are you a drug addict? Do you know somebody who is a drug addict? Bro, right after this reaction video, play this beautiful piece to that person and trust me, the person's life is never gonna be the same, bro. Last time I, um, I recently posted on Twitter that the human brain is so... The human brain is so delicate, bro. That is when the devil always tries as possible best to capture your brain. And once the devil has your brain, bro, he can easily have all of you. And I know what I'm talking about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, my name is Tetredu. And I'm excited being with your wonderful people. Well, we are here to react to this beautiful tune from Lucas Joyner and Jelly Roll titled Best For Me. Without much ado, ladies and gentlemen, please sit back, relax, and let's enjoy this beautiful piece. Let's go. How can you love someone and learn to let them go? Vocals. How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to feel in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love? If you have to ask if they'll stay Yeah, I got somebody I love yeah. Someone who's really important to me But Tell now they me. addicted to drugs Someone who not who they used to be And we ain't been keeping in touch I ain't gonna say any names at all Cause I don't want no one to judge But I wrote the song I hope when they hear it They'll never forget who they was I hope you feeling your spirit enough I wanna just tell you I love you in case that you really don't hear it as much I know we ain't talked in a while, but fuck it, I really don't care what it was I wanna reach out, but you keep on shutting me down And you ain't been caring as much, what the fuck happened to you? You losing a fight, I never thought I'd see the day that you let addiction ruin your life Everyone calling that shit a disease and making you feel like you in the right But I hate the fact that you really be using that as an excuse to do what you like or do what you might And I keep on praying and reaching for you I hope you look in the mirror and see all the things I've been seeing in you Hope your reflection will send you a message and show you this shit is much deeper than you If you don't believe in yourself then you'll never believe in somebody believing in you And I gotta tell you the truth Cause I'm about to lose it And you in denial about it and just wanna make up a million excuses Tearing our family apart but you leave a scar and everyone bruises Every decision affecting us all and if you get lost then everyone loses For real And I'ma be next to leave I know that guy got a plan and you ain't fulfilling your destiny Much as I need you, I will not be sticking around or watching you rest in peace I promise I love you, but I gotta do what's best for me How can you love someone and learn Bro. to let them go? How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? This is music, like this is Isn't real music Isn't it funny you can change your ways For someone to fill in your empty space Tell me, is it really love? If you have to ask if they'll stay. Bro, before we proceed, let's dissect or bisect one of two one or two things here. Yeah? I told you that the vocals of Jelly Roll is second to none, no doubt. And honestly speaking, if Lucas Je if Lucas Joyner is a casting director for a movie. I would have said he's the best who have ever existed, trust me. Nobody could have featured on this tune better than Jelly Roll, bro. Just, just think carefully in your head. Who could have delivered or who could have laid that beautiful line, you know, captivating and mind-blowing vocals on this tune for you to get to your inner man aside Jelly Roll? Like, who, who could have done it like this, bro? People could have clearly done something similar or something in line. But are you sure it would have been so emotional like this beautiful delivery from Jelly Roll? That's what I'm talking about. And I believe your people out there, if you're probably an addict or if you know an addict, as I said previously, play this tune to the addict here. Yeah? You, can, you can let them watch this particular piece here. Yeah? You know, sometimes your wonderful people have to know that being addicted to something of the sort is normally affecting the people around you. 
And once in a while, try to think about the people around you. There's a possibility that you being addicted, you've seen your mom, your siblings sometimes crying because of your behavior. Well, bro, have you ever put it into consideration? That's my focus right here, bro. That's my focus. That's my focus. I keep saying that doing the kingdom's business or the work of God isn't always about putting on suit and tie to the church on Sunday. But through something like this, we can indirectly or directly transform the life of one or two persons. And trust me, anytime a soul is saved, heaven rejoices, bro. Heaven rejoices. And it is my prayer that this beautiful team from Lucas Joyner and Jelly Roe will transform the life of one or two wonderful people out there. Bro, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Pay much attention to the words of the lyrical content of the song. Don't trust me. Your life will never be the same as an addict. And one thing is that when you talk of addiction, people normally focus on heroin only or you know some other hand drugs. But bro, research has shown research has shown that paracetamol is the most abused drug on the surface of this particular planet, bro. Let's not abuse any medicine or drug of any kind, bro. Normally, they should be based on a doctor's prescription, yeah? Sometimes you see people small pain, you quickly get yourself a painkiller, bro. As time goes on, you're definitely going to get the side effects of it. And let's be rational here. Let's try to desist from one or two things, yeah? Bro, we love you and we need you, all right? All right, let's proceed here. Yeah? You know, um, bro, like... Like, Lucas Joyner is just a step when it comes to, you know, releasing conscious music as such. I think I made mention of that previously. So, like, right after giving his peace of mind to the addict, it is now time for the addict to also express himself fully in this particular tune. Ladies and gentlemen, let's pay key attention and listen to this. Let's go. Look. I know you've been calling for me. Okay. You hit on my phone, but I've been alone so long, I'm harder to reach. I know you ain't saying any names, but I got a feeling you talking to me. I hate when these <laughs> demons get into my soul, I feel like I'm caught in a beast. How do I let go of something I know is bigger and stronger than me? If I could be honest, I'll tell you the truth, I'm not who you want me to be. Nobody is perfect, not even you, so why you keep targeting me? I feel like we can't even have a genuine convo without you starting to preach. I feel like a dog on a leash, it's not what I need. Living in hell, wondering when I gotta leave, like how can I breathe? How you gonna tell me addiction is not a disease? What do you mean? If it's not a disease, then why has it gotten to me? It's not what it seems. But you always be making me feel like the problem is me. I'm not gonna be who you want me to be. Like God decided for me. And speaking to God, how the fuck you know all of the plans he's got for me? So give me a break. I've been itching away from trying to get out of this dream. I'm drifting away. How come you only there for me when I be trying to get clean? My biggest mistake is me wishing that things were different. I felt like the drugs is made for sinning. That's why I've been stuck in the same position. Fuck. I'm falling, but I cannot budge. Been wondering why I'm in love with a strange addiction. And why the fuck you always playing a victim? A lot of this shit that you hate to mention. It sucks that I had a taint your vision. But ain't nothing left for me. So you can just quit addressing me. I guess it's just my destiny. So take me as I am or let me be. Tired of you stressing me. Cause shit I gotta do is best for me. How can you love someone? Someone and learn to let them go. How can we fall apart on things we'll never know? Isn't it funny you can change your ways for someone to fill in your empty space? Tell me, is it really love if you have to ask if they Well, ladies and gentlemen, so yes, that's a beautiful tune. So Lucas Joyner directed this beautiful piece himself. Man, them is really blessed. Fellas, when are we giving Jelly Roll a medal, bro? Dude has paid his dues and he has really shown us that he's indeed one of the best in terms of vocals and delivery, bro. 
I love him. I love this dude. I love this dude. I love this dude. And looking at this particular tune, I was so impressed that as part of the last scene that was shot, the gentleman ended up, you know, getting rid of the drug in the sink. That is a clear indication that he is letting go of his old ways to embrace a new life void of addiction. And that's something I believe that right after watching this particular piece, if you are also an addict, you can boldly get rid of this, bro. We are all here to support your wonderful people. You can easily get rid of it. You can easily get rid of it. So now the question is, is addiction a disease or not? Is addiction a disease or not? You know, Lucas Joyner is one of the few rappers who will just criticize you in his rap and also give you an opportunity to defend yourself. Bro, this is talent overload, bro. If you can cast your mind back to one of his old teens, and I'm not racist, which has got to do with this little black and white controversy, you know, right after the black guy delivering his verse of verses, he gave an opportunity for the writer to also, you know, counter attack. And at the end of the day, you realize that both parties are at par. You have to decide for yourself, will you do this or not? So the same thing applies here. Right after saying stuff about addiction, to an extent of even describing it as a disease, he gave an opportunity for the addict to also come in to counter-attack his assertion, whereby the addict also still described the addiction as a disease, bro. So my question to you, wonderful people, is addiction a disease or not? And how do we help our wonderful brothers and sisters out there to get rid of addiction? Bro, I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. In as much as I want this video to proceed because of how I've come to love this particular team, we still have to end here in one way or the other. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Setrudu, and I'm so excited to be before your wonderful people. We just reacted to join a Lucas and Jelly Roll performing Best For Me. That's actually the official video, yeah? A song about addiction. Well, if you love the content I do create, or if you love what I do, and if you really want to be part of this beautiful family, do what subscribe to the channel, like this video, and keep your comments coming. Peace.